so let me get this out of the way. On Avon, I casually mentioned the fact that I can do a certain obscure talent, and as usual when I mention this, it was met with incredulity, so I let's get this out of the way and I will prove it on video right now. is probably going to be not that long or not that coherent because I suck but I thought I would try to talk about um, haters, people who aren't receptive to asexuality, um, confidence. As I have described before I started admitting and identifying as asexual during towards the end of my last year of high school and when I went to college I started telling people I was asexual gradually and the first few friends that I made there, um, a couple of them were just not very understanding people in general about a lot of things. They liked to quiz me about the reasons for it and sort of interrogate me about hypothetical situations and it sort of made it so I couldn't even like admit that someone was aesthetically attractive in front of them or else they would like start asking me what my real motivations for that were or that I couldn't make a sexual joke or else they would directly or indirectly imply that I couldn't do that supposedly. One of them had this female friend and both of them, he and the friend that is, were both like trying to convince me to hook up with her in case I was actually gay, which doesn't really make sense because you would think that if I liked girls, I would know about it before someone else did, so. And when I was in high school, I was kind of quiet and didn't share a lot about myself with just about anyone, so when I went to college and met some of these new friends, I thought, that was just sort of how you had friends. Whenever they had any problem with how I looked or what songs I was singing in public and were embarrassed to be around me or or told me to shut up or anything like that, I would think, well, I guess I should just avoid conflict and sort of avoid doing that around them from now on. Whereas now I would be like, you know what, I think you are not very relevant to my interests, so bye. So as the next year began, I lost touch with these people gradually and started realizing, wow, there are different ways to interact with people other than having every way I want to behave squashed because I'm constantly trying to appease someone, or trying to make sense to someone, or trying to avoid not being taken seriously by someone. And I think at that point I started becoming confident in a lot more ways, not just asexuality, but in terms of asexuality that was when I started really being more open about the fact that I was asexual and started understanding the fact that I was asexual well enough to be able to be open about it without feeling confused about it myself because then I realized I had less to explain. It's not like it happened overnight, I guess this was like last spring and summer a year ago or something, but now I I'm less inclined to argue with people if they are not accepting of asexuality. I'm more inclined to just be like, okay, stop talking, whatever. No matter how good you are at educating people, no matter how many explanations and statistics and analogies you're full of, some people just like won't get it or won't want to get it. and a good representative has to, at some point, be able to just tell someone to fuck off. I think one thing that has really shaped my personality and my confidence is music, actually. Um, in my last year of high school, I started 
getting into more 80s electronic music and synth pop because I really liked how over the top and how dramatic and sometimes even comical this area of music could be and this was at a time when I was getting tired of being so quiet and not that bold like I said earlier so this was it was sort of like my inspiration to be fabulous. I'm sure a lot of this music just sort of brightens me up in general but none more than one singer in particular. If you know me you probably know who I am talking about. The fall after I went into college like while I was having problems with the bad friends and stuff. I started listening to Mark Almond, and if you don't know who he is, he was the singer from Soft Cell in the early 80s, and that, that's obviously what I what got my attention first, because I was into so much, or I still am, but electronic and synth pop and, and stuff from that time period, and has pretty much for most of the time been a solo artist since then. I just think he has such a brilliant personality as a performer. He just seems so radiantly good at being entertaining and being a showman and I really enjoy his sense of humor. He's quite camp and goes back and forth between being kind of pretentious to being kind of self-deprecating and if I wanted an inspiration for being fabulous, there he is. I don't know, I could count the ways I could go on for, well, it might be infinite, just ask anybody who knows me in person how long I can go on on this subject and it might be a bit hilarifying. But I think the main reason he is such an inspiration to me is, okay, well, I'm not naturally extroverted and I'm not very eloquent if I haven't planned it very well. I make music I have performed before and I sort of assumed that I could never be good at performing or I could never even act outgoing temporarily in my day-to-day -day life because if I had these social problems they would just carry over into everything and I must just be shy and be resigned to that and trying to have any other side of myself would just be untruthful and be doomed to fail but Mark Almond, I've read his autobiography, I've seen and read a lot of interviews with him and he is an introvert who had to work to develop a sort of on-off switch so he could flip on stage or in front of a camera to be this awesome, hilarious character. And interviews with him are usually covered in like misspeaks and repeating himself, saying things impulsively, not being able to figure out how to finish sentences of <laughs> the same things that I have done or do all the time. If he turned out as awesome as he did, then it might seem like a really obvious concept, but I realized that my bad qualities will never completely prevent me from developing good qualities. I don't have to completely eradicate any difficulties I have and even if they don't ever go away I can still be fabulous. <laughs> I've actually like become more confident and have started becoming actually more outgoing and not just not just pretending to or temporarily acting just as I have learned that it doesn't really matter that as I've started feeling like like it's less important less of an obstacle that I have problems in that 
area. So this has not been the most organized video and it's pretty much like ass o'clock in the morning right now, which it usually is when I'm making my videos, but so I guess I'm going to leave you with that and see you next week.